Tete Group has been on the recycling market for 19 years. We develop, design, and manufacture equipment for waste recycling and obtaining energy from alternative sources. The Universal Waste Recycling Pyrolysis Plant, Fortan, processes various types of household and industrial solid, liquid, and paste-like wastes. Used tires, rubber products, plastic waste, used oil, drill cuttings, and oil sludge, oil contaminated soils, oil products that lost their quality. Waste is recycled without prior preparation and pretreatment. Retort is a cylindrical vessel of heat-resistant stainless steel with a lid that has a special closure for pressurization and excluding air from entering the retort. The retort volume is 2.6 cubic meters. The retort has a truncated cone bottom in order to prevent metal deformation at high temperatures. The pyrolysis module is a vertical furnace lined with refractory concrete with reinforcement and high temperature thermal insulation based on ceramic fiber. The module is equipped with an air-cooled solid fuel furnace for burning poor quality fuels and a gas burner for the possibility of using different types of fuels. Waste for recycling is loaded into the retort. The dimensions of the retort allow loading large non-shredded waste pieces. After loading, the retort is placed in the pyrolysis module. Unnecessary temperature is created in the pyrolysis module. The raw material is heated through the walls of the retort and is subjected to thermal decomposition without oxygen access. After the end of the process, the retort is removed from the module and it is left in the open air for cooling. The next retort is placed in the module. The set of the plant includes two retorts, which are changed one after the other without interruption. Carbon unloading from the cooled retort to the container is carried out by means of a hoisting crane. When the waste is heated and decomposed, a vapor gas mixture is formed inside the retort, which is piped to a condenser to cool and condense the pyrolysis vapor. Condensed liquid fuel oil is drained into a collector, wherefrom it is pumped into a storage tank. The liquid fuel oil can be used as an energy carrier in boiler houses, for generation of electric power in steam generators, and also it can be used for recycling into gasoline, kerosene and diesel fractions. Non-condensable gases pass through the system of separators, where they are thoroughly cleaned from the liquid droplets and then sent to a gas burner and used as fuel to support the process. It is important to note that additional fuel is needed only at the initial stage of the Fortan plant launch. Once the process is stabilized, the non-condensable gas produced during the raw material recycling is sent to the burner and used as fuel to maintain the plant. Maximum efficiency is achieved when two or more pyrolysis modules operate simultaneously, as the excess gas from the first module can be used to heat the second one. The modules are constantly at different stages of the process. The second module passes the stage of maximum gas generation at the moment when the first module requires the greatest fuel demand. Thus, there is no need for additional fuel. The emissions to the atmosphere are significantly reduced and there is no need to install a gas holder for temporary storage of pyrolysis gas. There is no ignition problem. Even if a large number of pyrolysis modules operate simultaneously, the control for working process and ending of pyrolysis process is carried out under the technological parameters, temperature and pressure, according to the manual. All technological parameters are monitored and controlled from the operator's control panel. The Fortan plant is equipped with an explosion-proof valve and the system of emergency gas relief, which in the event of a malfunction, will exclude the possibility of damage to equipment and health of maintenance staff. The Fortan plants are designed as mobile units. The overall dimensions of the complex correspond to the dimensions of a 40-foot, 1219.2 centimeter container. The site for placing the equipment does not require long preparation and large-scale construction works. All connections in the design are flanged for operational reinstallation and installation on the site. The set of the plant includes a transportation stand. Standard version plants are designed to operate at ambient temperatures up to minus 40 degrees Celsius. Upon request, we produce special versions of Fortan plants that can work at temperatures up to minus 60 degrees Celsius. 
Fortan plants are durable, safe, easy to operate, and self-maintained. More than 200 Fortan plants operate in 16 countries. Australia, Argentina, Armenia, Belarus, Bulgaria, India, Kyrgyzstan, Moldova, Transnistria, the Russian Federation, Turkmenistan, Turkey, Ukraine, the Republic of South Africa, the Republic of Panama, and Thailand. The warranty is provided for the entire range of equipment. Our specialists provide equipment setup and staff training in any country around the world.